Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this will be a, a quick review of the A model uh, Handy Page Jetstream T2, which uh, was kindly donated to me by uh, my friend Simon. Hello, Simon, thank you. Uh, I will be building this for hashtag Fly Navy, which is uh, the latest or our latest um, group build on uh, British Aviation in scale. Come along and join, come and find us. Uh, anything fleet air on. Simple. Anything. So let's have a quick look at this, uh, this little kit here. Here we are, gentlemen. The A model Jetstream T2. Uh, the kit number on this one is. Excuse me, uh, two uh, seven two three three two. Should that be of any interest to you whatsoever? These are the other variations variants they do in it. Uh, a Polish company. What else is on there? So uh, usual thing. Usual thing. Uh, we're all bagged up. Haven't been opened. We've got spare decals. That's not part of it. So I'll put them to one side actually. So we'll come back and debag, uh, and I'll take it from there. Okay, chaps, see you in a bit. So we'll start with the uh, instructions. Uh, fold out glossy-ish uh, instructions. Uh, on here we've got um, call-outs are in humbrol. Yeah, which is fair enough, isn't it? Uh, black and white uh, instructions. So, all right, it's one of them separate ones. We have, do have a map, sprue map, which is always good to see. Um, so, we're straight on in. Uh, I sound like somebody else now, don't we? So, a cockpit, obviously, that's going to be a decal. 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 Um, so, it's pretty basic. Uh, looks like there's going to be absolutely no interior whatsoever. Uh, you know, a proper modeler would get all this uh, built up, um, but um, I'm not him. So we'll have a look at that. We'll have a look at the kit, obviously, in a minute. So I'm just looking at this is all pretty basic stuff. I'm just looking at this, uh, what colours we're looking at here. Um, the J is medium grey. C is going to be black. Uh, so it's all a medium grey interior. Okay, that's fine. Just as, a, just as long as I know. Um, looks like we've got separate uh, uh, windows, which would be quite interesting to uh, get together. But that's pretty basic stuff, isn't it? Uh, come on to the engines. Again, pretty old basic gear. Um, the wings looks like they're going to slot in. There's no spar. So we're going to have to watch, uh, watch that. Uh, so the wings go on. There, oh, on that one. And seven and uh, number eight we get the other side on and then number nine we get some aerials and some bits and pieces that, have, that aren't being attached and then we've got some uh, 10 and 11 is some more odds and ends intakes and then we've got the um, undercarriage which looks like to be very basic again so um, looks to be a pretty basic kit. So the colour scheme, um, the one colour scheme on this one, we've got white over the, uh, it says uh, 96 RAF blue. And then, um, a light grey for the undersides. It's quite very pretty. Um, so if we've got, got while we've got that out, let's have a look at the decal sheet that is, comes with the kit. And that is it. Not a lot to it. Um, it's 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 okay. Now that's a decal. Oh, that blue is a decal. That blue there. It's okay, um, and I'm sure it would be fine, but instrument panel. I'm just a little bit wary, which is why I'm that wary of it. I've gone out and got myself um, 
a decal, um, a extra rocket decal set for it. So if we just get this out of the way, this does not come with the kit. I have to, the stab got to say this does not come with the kit. So that's on there. Uh, this is all black and white again. So we're doing the T2 uh, Navy, obviously. So that will be that one or this one. We're doing the T3. Common markings are there. Uh, so on this is, this is a lot. It's a lot better, a lot nicer. The colours are stronger if you compare the blues. I just wasn't feeling, I, I did I'd look at this kit obviously before and I just wasn't feeling this. So I did manage to track this one down here and that looks a lot better, doesn't it? I'll leave that for there for you to see, a lot nicer. A few large halves, uh, obviously we're onto the kit now. Uh, as you can probably see, um, recessed pan lines, yes, uh, they probably are overscaled and they are a little bit rough. The plastic is a little bit rough. We've got flash on here. Um, there are some rivets, which are obviously are oversized, you would imagine, but it does look quite pretty as is. Uh, the wings, uh, that's all you get. So we've just got to be careful with that join there because that's not, not particularly strong. The, obviously we're going to have to do some rescribing here. Um, I don't know how it goes together yet, of course. It doesn't look warped. Um, it is quite a soft plastic, uh, but you know, it's quite pretty looking. That's a very pretty looking fuselage. So now we have the, um, the wings, obviously. Again, it's all a little bit rough. Vortex generators are kind of all over the place. The panel lines here, let's get a pointer. The panel lines here, might want redoing because they're like, move around all over the place. Um, this one's got not a lot of flash on it, but it all looks a bit rough. There's a bit of flash here. Um, tiny parts. Um, but, um, but you know, having said that, having said that, um, it looks okay. Again, same plastic. It doesn't look warped. Um, I think it will go together fine. You might be able to hear the blackbird in the, in the background. He's... Um, having his uh, tuppence to say. So that's, you know, it's a short run kit, isn't it? Like we keep saying, short run kits tend to be, they can be a little bit hit and miss. Um, I mean, it's just pretty basic stuff, but it goes together. It looks like it might go together okay. There are your wings. This is the next uh, smallest or the next biggest sprue, sprue D, uh, flashed to bits. Uh, wheels, two piece wheels. Obviously there must, be, there must be another side to this. Um, hmm, I can't see it. Um, obviously that's part of the internals, the door, bulkhead door there uh, got some cockpit pieces there's the the um, instrument panel nothing to that nothing raised it's a flat piece obviously gonna need the decal um, uh, uh, landing gear pretty basic stuff seats pretty basic put some belts on them instrument console I'm imagine imagining um, Gonna need some cleaning, but you know, it is what it is. Short run kit again. Got 
So we've got, <laughs> I just picked these up because I can't be bothered to separate them. There's the other side of the wheels, that's what I was looking for. Other side of the wheels, I was, God, oh, God damn it, we've got them. Uh, push them to one side, tiny piece, I can see what Simon was going on about now. Uh, phew, phew -ey. There's no way that's coming off without breaking. And we can do that with something else, with some stretch sprue perhaps. Um, tiny sensors and bits and pieces. These would be okay. Um, just a bit of these pieces here like this, that you know, they're not gonna last five minutes. I might need to do some scratch building for for these type of items here. But you know, like I say, it's it's um like a short run, so you've got to put up with this sort of thing. Engines, we've got two of these, and there. there's the second one. Two engines, obviously, turbo props. Uh, a bit of flashy on the prop, very thin, that's going to break. As soon as you look at that, getting that out of there. Uh, but you know, that's Sprue E, both of them. Uh, like I say, they're engine pieces. And then finally, on the plastic side, uh, on the styrene side, if you like. Uh, we've got a couple of noses and some under 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 underbelly pieces. Obviously, that's some sort of sensor or, or something. I imagine is maybe bits for the um, for the nose, aren't they? Sprue F. That looks okay, doesn't it? And then finally, we have uh, the clear parts. This is probably what I was worrying about more than anything. I don't think we can get a masking set for this kit. I mean, it, it is relatively clear. There's a little bit of a wobble to it. There's... Um, Masking it's going to be easy. It's going to be interesting, not easy. Interesting because there's no ray, hardly any raised there at all. So it's almost a case of even measuring what you've got and then cutting it out rather than putting tape on and then cutting out because you're not you've got nothing to burnish against. Hmm. I wonder why you got two different variant perhaps. They do look the same. Yeah, that one's a bit different to that one. That one's nicer. I hope we've got to use that one because that one's that one's nicer. And then the other the other piece of the the glazing is the windows. Uh, well, I'm hoping that you can't see through them because <laughs> there is no interior. Uh, which you know they're not brilliant. Which is which is good, <laughs> good for what we need. Because what. I think we'll do, I think we're just gonna spray the, all this black. Keep that black, because it's, like I say, a proper modeler would scratch build all the, all the interior with seats and all sorts of the roof, everything. That ain't me, I'm not one of them. So we're just gonna spray that. Uh, and luckily these windows, um, you're not gonna see a lot through it, which is ideal. Okay, gentlemen, ladies, Boys and girls, there you go. Thank you very much.